What's going on today guys, this is Justin with The Digital Life and you might be considering getting a new computer. Um, you might be looking at the best budget friendly computers. Hey, I don't wanna spend a lot, what do I do? And you are trying to get into video editing. So today this video is gonna be going over how well the M1 MacBook Air 2020 performs with 4K video editing. Let's get into it. So as you guys can see, this is iMovie and I have this up right now um, and basically you guys can see my kind of project going here this was a video I previously did um, basically on some speakers and an unboxing of those and then followed by a review but you guys can check that out on my channel but anyways guys so you guys can see that I've kind of gone through here and this is all 4k footage this is directly imported from an iPhone 12 Pro on 30 frames per second and on um, 4K, so you can actually pick the option for 4K in the camera settings, and then um, you can use a cloud-based um, platform to get your footage from your phone to the actual um, computer. Uh, I do recommend getting an external hard drive for all of this. I know that sounds weird to put that in a video, but uh, the reason why is because I've definitely gotten really close to filling up my storage here. Um, I have probably 40 gigs and I frequently transport it all from my computer to the actual external hard drive just because I don't want to like, I got, I got a five terabyte hard drive and I don't like to dink around with having my storage get slow on the computer just because if I'm out and about and forget my hard drive, I don't want to have to delete something. So anyways guys, you guys can see that I'm basically flawlessly going between uh, scrubbing the footage here. So this is all 4K footage. As far as playing it goes, um, this is one of my this is one of my videos. You guys can hear it kind of playing in the background, but it is clearly playing extremely seamless, seamlessly. There is really no problem with it. Um, I've added some kind of cool effects. So once again, this is going to be 4K footage on iMovie on the M1 Air MacBook, the M1 MacBook Air. Um, this is about a 15 minute video. So when it gets lengthy, it really doesn't have any problems with that. So if you're making videos that are gonna be pretty much average length, you're really not gonna have an issue. So as you guys can see guys, I have, I even have some transitions in there. You guys can see what just happened, that there was a transition going from some footage to the next. The footage looks phenomenal. Um, and then I can pause and play and I this footage as much as I actually want to without any real stuttering or buffering or anything like that. And this is exactly what I've experienced from my time using the M1 MacBook Air. I've been shocked because I thought it was gonna be just kind of a decent experience, maybe some stuttering here and there. Maybe it was just gonna be an experience where I had to kind of get, it, get through it. And at the end of the day, it wasn't a big deal, but it was a cheaper option and I didn't have a lot to spend. So I was like, whatever. But I've been pleasantly surprised. Up here in iMovie, guys, there is really no stuttering going between the tabs if you want to do backgrounds, tra transitions, anything like that. So I would say if you're looking for something that is going to get the job done and get the job done well, maybe you're a student looking to make some uh, YouTube videos in your uh, dorm room, uh, or maybe you're an art student make making some videos for your classes, whatever it's going to be, or you're a professional making some videos as a side hustle because that's what you like to do, that's awesome. So. As you guys can see, there is definitely no issue here. Um, and to give you guys a really good kind of perception on that, I am scrolling very quickly. I don't mean to give you guys a headache, but um, I'm just trying to emphasize the fact that there's really no issue there. And then at the end, just to play it for you, you guys can see, and um, I hope the audio doesn't interfere with the audio on the computer, but you guys can see that the audio, and then I'll play it for you guys a little bit. There we go. So there's no stuttering there whatsoever. I would say, I mean, it's absolutely flawless. The only, I wouldn't really say there's any complaints at all. If I were to do transitions, um, you can bring them down from the transition, the title bar, and there's really no delay at all. Um, as far as splitting clips and things like that, this is not an iMovie tutorial, unfortunately, guys, so I'm not gonna get into that. But this is just about 4K video editing on this. And I'm not really sure how to show you guys that this is 4K, um, except for I'll share 
file and then the fact that it says 4K right there means I have that ability and also settings is 4K. Just so you guys know, I'm not trying to play with you or dink with you. This is 4K footage shot on an iPhone 12 Pro and I do believe you guys will get the same experience with any kind of DSLR by using an SD card. So I would probably say that the eight gigabytes of RAM has done the job really well. My only complaint with the eight gigabytes of RAM um, if I really had to say it is sometimes when I'm doing a lot of multitasking, there's a little bit of a pause. Like if I do any kind of um, multi-touch features on the trackpad, there's like a teeny little pause if I go out of iMovie into something else where it'll do the little scroll wheel. But I think that's the nature of the eight gigabytes of RAM. So if you're really concerned about that guys and you're, you're using this computer longevity and you want it long-term to just last you forever, two things I'd recommend guys is an external hard drive um, a lot of them are on sale right now for the holiday season, so I will put that in the description. I use the Western Digital Easy Store, and the reason why is because it's extremely portable, it's lightweight, I think it's reliable. It was on sale, I got it for 60 bucks off, it's five terabytes. Um, I have to say though, I don't really think there's a really big difference between each, each external hard drive, because to me it's just an external hard drive. Um, but I also really like the size, it's portable, things like that. It also is pretty quick when I like take things off and on, on it. I really don't have any issue. If it's a huge file, it might take 20 minutes, but that's what you sign up for. Um, also, you can use a Google platform like a Google Drive or Dropbox if you uh, don't want to deal with plugging your iPhone into the computer because that's tough. But anyways, guys, um, the 8 gigabytes of RAM, I'd probably upgrade to 16 gigs if you're planning on getting into like huge files um, or I don't know, maybe you want that multitasking power, but for me personally, the eight gigs of RAM and the M1 chip has done me wonders here, and I really have almost no complaints about the computer. I will also say that the battery life on this computer has been very good. Um, with the 4K video editing, I, I think the nature of 4K video editing is that the battery life is does suffer a little bit just because of what that's taking out of the computer. If you're really concerned about battery life and maybe you're getting on flights to Japan, for 14 hours, then I would consider investing in like the new MacBook Pro or one of the higher end MacBooks that have better battery life and more power so it's not sucking so much power. But the battery life on this has actually been an astonish astonishingly impressive for the price and for how thin it is and also for the performance. Um, the one thing I did wanna cover last guys is I will try to put this into the video as best as possible um, but the exporting times on this computer have been kind of weirdly good. Um, a 15 minute 4K video took I think 20 minutes to export, it might have took in, taken 15 minutes. So if you're looking to do projects quickly and you're looking for the ultimate productivity hack and to get this all done quickly and, and get on with your life and export your videos and not have to sit around and wait, this is a, a great option. Um, the exporting, I thought I was gonna have to wait six hours, eight hours, I was just expecting that because it's a computer and we're not to like the Jetsons species where things are just instant and we're wearing glasses that tell us when we get a text. Um, I guess that's coming, but for me, I really enjoyed how fast it exported the video just because for me personally, that saves a ton of time and it's for 4K footage, I think that's great. So anyways guys, this is Just For The Digital Life bringing you guys reviews and thoughts on tech and tutorials just like this um, to help you guys make the best buying decision before you guys have to go out and spend your hard-earned money. I'll see you next time.